social sql could be more dynamic do you want to be able to add parameters and variables or maybe you've had that headache of programmatically selecting table names or column names well datarex has added two new features that are going to help you with that identifier syntax and variables the first one is identifiers and when we talk about identifiers it's just like the name of stuff the table name the column name the catalog name that's an identifier but what i want to show you is the identifier clause this is where I don't have to use my static string for a name. Instead, I could use something that was defined elsewhere to be able to pass through to my query. The identifier clause is where I pass something into my SQL statement. And what's great about it is that it's SQL injection proof. In my example, I have a suspicious account in my final table, but what I actually want to see is in the source table. And I'm in luck because there's a table column telling me which table it came from. I can assign the table name to source and now I can pass that value into my query using the identifier syntax. Now my example sucks because that's not made anything any easier. What I want to do is dynamically update this table name by extracting this value from my first query and then putting it back into the second one. And to do that I need variables. Because I'm going to be reusing the suspicious account number I'm going to start by making that a variable. This is the more verbose syntax to what I had above, but generally you can create a variable with declare or replace, update the value with set, or use drop to delete it. It's worth noting there's scope to the session, so if you restart your cluster, you'll need to rerun it. I'm now going to remake a variable for my source table that's called source, and it's going to be the result of this query here. I can validate what's in my variables by using the values keyword. And now I can use both variables by query to extract a table name and then use the identifier clause to put that variable back into a query. Go on, give this a go. You will need a cluster runtime of at least 14.1. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot data in AI, follow for more.